Hey there everybody, I've just come out to do a little bit of an extra walk, get some extra steps in today. It was lovely earlier and now it's just gone gone to crap basically and uh, it's gone all dreary and rainy. But anyway, I wanted to do a quick video to ask you, is there a mismatch between your CV and your LinkedIn profile? Because I've seen obviously quite a few CVs that, and LinkedIn profiles doing all these reviews. LinkedIn Express, CV Express reviews going down really well. So thank you for people that have ordered that and sent me testimonials. They're really appreciated. But I've seen quite a few CVs recently and LinkedIn profiles where it can happen either way. For example, I can see a CV where the person's skills and experience really shine through and they look really great on paper. And then I take a look at their LinkedIn profile and it stops me dead in my tracks because it's not the same quality. I'm not talking about the same content. It doesn't have to be the same content. They're two different things. But they do serve a similar purpose because, you know, a recruiter might look at your CV and work out whether they're going to put you forward for a role they might also look at your LinkedIn profile. A hiring manager, of course, might look at your CV initially, but they're more likely, I believe, to look at your LinkedIn profile afterwards. And I even had a interview a few weeks back, and on the live Zoom call, the guy pulls up my LinkedIn profile. I've never had that before. <laughs> and so he starts asking me, what's the IT Contracting Academy? And that was perfectly fine because, of course, I could talk congruently and honestly and openly and, you know, with, with authority on what's on my LinkedIn profile. So there's not a problem there. Um, but it just caught me off guard. So just be wary of that. And, of course, what you don't want to happen is a recruiter or a hiring manager or someone in an interview to have any reason to question why they might select you for interview, for example, or, or choose you for the role. You know, if they see a mismatch between your CV and your LinkedIn profile, your CV is great, your LinkedIn profile, not so great. Whoops, lost my headphones. Let me just plug them back in. If they, if so, if they see any mismatch like that, it can basically form a partial resistance. Um, Obviously, you know, if you're looking for a role, you don't want there to be any resistance at all. You want it to be a nice fluid process of, they look at your CV, yeah, that's great. You know, you get put forward for the role by the recruiter. Hiring manager sees your CV, yep, looks good. He may then check you out on LinkedIn and he goes, oh yeah, yeah, def definitely does look good. And the two things tally, the two things match, they support each other and therefore they want to interview you or maybe they've interviewed you and then they offer you the role. So it also happens the other way where I've seen someone with a really good LinkedIn profile and you know I've actually turned people away for LinkedIn reviews because I say no your LinkedIn profile is pretty spot on it's actually you definitely don't need a LinkedIn supercharger full review and some people have even said you don't even need a LinkedIn Express. That's, that's just where I pick three things for you to improve on your LinkedIn profile. Sometimes I can't find that. And so I won't take on board a LinkedIn Express review or I won't recommend you do it. But um, sometimes I see a LinkedIn profile and I think, yeah, that looks pretty good. Then I look at the CV and I then see that there is the mismatch. It's like the CV is not as good as the LinkedIn profile. So again, it can happen both ways. It could be your CV is good, your LinkedIn profile is letting you down. It could be your LinkedIn profile is good and your CV is not quite up to scratch. So just be careful, with or without my help, just make sure the two are supporting each other in the best way possible for you to get put forward for roles, selected for interview, and to secure those offers so that's why you know most people that i work with they do my free cv check i don't do a free one for linkedin 
but most people after that do my CV Express and my LinkedIn Express. And there's only a very few people that I've turned away and said, look, you don't need the LinkedIn one, just do the CV one. But reach out to me, DM me, if you're interested in the CV Express or LinkedIn Express, I will just tell you honestly, because I don't want to waste my time, never mind your time or money, I don't want to waste my time piddling around trying to spot small mistakes or errors or small rooms for improvement. I want to pick the top three things on your CV or your LinkedIn profile that are just going to, they're going to take you to the next level i.e. get put forward for more roles or get selected for interview or secure that offer. So most people do the CV Express and the LinkedIn Express together. Some people do you know, one first, see if they like the way I work, totally fine, especially new people to the groups. And you know, sometimes they they muddle along and it's like they don't get anywhere and two weeks later they sign up for the, C, for the LinkedIn Express if they've done the CV Express. Or if they've done the LinkedIn Express, two weeks later they sometimes do the CV Express. Obviously the easiest thing is, if you've got the funds of course, but they're only 39 quid each, is to just do both at the same time. And I'll respond back within 24 hours, fix those three things on your CV, fix those three things on your LinkedIn profile, and then you're ready to go. You're, you've, you've, you've beefed both marketing tools, the two marketing tools we have available to us as contractors, or even if you're looking for a perm roll, fix those two marketing tools that you've got available to you and spend the same amount of time and effort on them and just make sure they're congruent, they support each other, they're consistent, and especially if you're going for a high high rate roll, if you're going for sort of, you know, 500 pounds a day plus rolls, they've got to look good. They've got to look good. So anyway, I hope that helps. I'm just going to finish off my walk before it chucks it down. Hope you're having a fantastic day. All the best. Speak soon. Bye.